Right then, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to us budget Amarok build. If you watched the first video, you'll have seen that we got the UK's cheapest Amarok. We bought it off Copart for £4,000. Since then, we did an off-road date at Parkwood. It did pretty well to say we just took it on the tyres it came on, which I think they had 3 mm tread. We should have probably changed them before we took it to Parkwood, but we didn't. We took it anyway. We got a little bit of damage. Yo, a little bit. Did a little bit. Mella. Oh, Mella, Mella, Mella. You not win me, Roth. It fell off. It fell off. <laughs> so in the first video, we went round and looked at the general condition of the truck. And one of the worst parts of it is the tub. Very rusty. It's very dented. It's... Tailgate's knackered. Yeah, tailgate's knackered. It were a passing comment in the first video that we're going to make it into a tray back. Prime for a tray back. Yeah, I could do a tray back. Since then, it's become a little bit more than a passing comment. We've done a few drawings. We've knocked them off in Fusion 360, a little render. We've worked out roughly what size bed we're going to do. A frame round the truck cab. So we want to get this off and measure from the chassis rails to see what sort of brackets we're going to need to mount it. But because we're going to outsource the um, the bed's production basically time scales and whatnot we need to get this up and get done first so we're doing things a little bit back to front really there's other stuff we should be doing first but we need to get this out of way because it's been subbed out but the other thing that we need to do before we do the truck bed is get the wheels and tires on that we've got for it so we know roughly how high the wheel arch is going to be on the bed and then obviously how much clearance we need for that so we have got them. This is one of the first things we bought for the truck. Yeah. We went for a tire that we'd not used before. It's a Nankang Conqueror Mud Terrain. This is a, what, 315 70 17, which equates to 34.4? Yeah, around that. 34.4 inch. Not the 35s that we originally wanted, but I think it's a small compromise. And then the wheels we got from Rogue Alloy. So these are actually a steel rather than an alloy. They're quite heavy. I think the combined weight of the alloy and the tire Just came to yeah, 47.5, something like that. So they're quite heavy, pretty similar to the V10 wheel and tire setup. I think they're pretty much exactly the same, but they're 33s. So, and these are a little bit narrower, so it should be good. But for comparison, Come on, Rob. That's how much bigger they are than the standard wheels and tires that it came on. So we're going to have a bit of a challenge getting these on the front for definite, but that's going to be a different video. So we know it's doable. Plenty of other people have done this size. So yeah, we know a body lift's going to be needed, which is why we've got them. So rather than waffle on, because I can see Rob's itching to get stuck in and get dirty, we'll. Uh, Crack on with this tub. Check back in later. You did film it, that. You don't know that, didn't you? I did. Swam. Flashing it. It's a red light on front, Baz. <laughs> <laughs>
Up the bit. Tight, you're not tired. Play now. It's off. Weren't that bad, were it, Rob? Yeah. Once you took all the bolts out. Yeah. So, other than the wiring, which has just got these connections to the tub, there's literally six bolts that hold it on. And then you've got two bolts either side of your chassis leg holding your bumper on and the tow bar, yeah. Pretty straightforward. Oh, we had to disconnect this as well, but yeah, other than that, pretty straightforward. I'm not I'm not gonna say it looks better at minute, Rob. Not at minute. It looks worse. Have we ruined it? Shall we drive it? We should try driving it now. <laughs> <laughs> but if you if you wanted to know what an amarot looks like yeah. with the tub off, that's it. Pretty easy. So it's a pretty simple ladder frame design. The um, the actual cab itself, do you know how many bolts are holding that on? Six. Six. So that's pretty similar as well. So other than the electrics, there's six bolts holding the cab onto the chassis. So if we took the cab off, it looked like a Land Rover then, wouldn't it, Rob? Not quite. Nearly. I think we're gonna have to jet wash it. Yeah, it's... Uh, Seen better days, and then maybe protect it somehow. Not come up too bad after a jet wash. A bit of surface rust, but nothing structural. I think we're gonna have a look into some Lana Guard, aren't we, Rob? Yeah. One of the lads here has used it on his R32 and uh, reckons it's pretty good. Pretty so, sure it's had a new pair of springs and shocks. Isn't yeah, it? it looks like it has. Air springs. Air springs. Air springs. And they're not oh yeah mother. KYB. It's been well maintained. So I think next up, before we take it for the tray back doing, we need to put the wheels and tires on. So at the minute we've only got one tire mounted to the wheel. So Rob's gonna put another one on now. And then we'll jack it up on the back, swap the wheels over to the new ones, see what it looks like. So a quick test while Rob fits the tyre to the rim. We're just going to lift it up with a forklift truck on the back and see how much articulation we've got. So let's measure this. That wheel is on the floor, which means we've got approximately 33, 330 mil.
and then on the front, oh, oh the other wheels are on the floor. This one is 28, 28, 29. So that's when it is stock. We'll check it in the future and uh, see what we get. We've got a little bit of rake going off. Full American drag car spec. It's a good comparison of the size. You can see how much higher it is. Yeah. Yet. So this side is just, just off the floor. And that is how much taller the tyre is. So quite a lot. That's full fist in a bit. What do you reckon, Rob? It's gonna look sick when it's done. So, we knew this wheel and tyre combo weren't gonna be a direct fit on the front of the Amarok, and we've already encountered this first problem, which is either the width of the tyre or the offset of the wheel, and it's basically hitting the top arm, top suspension arm. So, Rob's just gone to grab some spacers. Not sure how big we need the spacers to be yet, but we'll probably start off with 10 mil. Uh, if that clears, that's all we need. If not, we think we've stock 15 and 20 mil, and I think it was all the way up to 30 mil. So pretty sure we'll have something in stock, so we can at least bolt these up and see how much they stick out. I'm pretty sure we're going to need some arches on the front as well um, to cover the tread to make sure it's legal. And uh, yeah, then we'll have a quick look at what we're going to need to cut out and what we're going to do to. Make them fit. What side did you go for, Rob? 20 mil. That's 50 mil lift. You seen how much it sticks out? They're on, it turns, and it'll probably drive, or should I say, the wheel turns, and it'll probably drive in a straight line, but I think, as soon as we come to turn that wheel, we're gonna have a few problems. And another one is, it's not exactly flush. So we're definitely gonna need some arches. Looking at that, at least 50, 60 mil. The wheel will go in a bit at the top when we do the top arms because that'll bring the camber in but at the minute it's a little bit ridiculous but with the jack under that is with approximately 50 mil suspension lift so that's what it's going to be like when we've got the suspension on 
but then with the body lift on top of that it should be an extra 40 mil on top of that as well so it already looks like a monster truck it looks absolutely crazy and i'm pretty excited to see what it's going to look like when it's done but so we're only on episode two i think you're in for a treat so rob's cogs are still ticking away coming up with new ideas but we're going to leave it here for today we've got plenty of plans for this amarok which are going to be coming in future videos so make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the project if you've got any suggestions what you think we should do to the project comment below it's not on a shoestring budget as such as the yeti but we're not going crazy so don't say put tracks on it or anything like that um, we want to keep it doable for for the majority of people so we're not spending a million pound on on anything um, everything's done to a budget to a certain extent we're probably going to spend a lot more than what trucks cost us <laughs> yeah to say the truck cost us four thousand pound there's probably going to be a lot more than that in modifications there's a quarter of that on the wheels and tires already at least and yeah that's we're only just getting started so make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the amarok project it's going to be mental i think it's going to surprise us what this is going to be capable of because it is well it's a proper off-roader the yeti was a laugh this is a little bit more serious and we're going to see what amaroks are actually capable of so yeah hit subscribe make sure you check out the next video and thanks for watching